Hey folks, how you guys doing today? Jimmy Roberts here, your local real estate professional. And today we're gonna do a market update. Basically, I'm gonna give you an overview of what's going on in our local market. And by the way, when I say local market, I'm talking about Wayne, Oakland, and Macomb counties here in the great state of Michigan. So let's jump right into it. First off, let's start with some national news. And that is, let's start with interest rates. So here's the good news. The average interest rate since 1971 was a whopping 7.75% for a 30 year fixed mortgage. Think about that, 7.75%. I guess that kind of makes sense because when Alicia and I bought our first home approximately, wow, almost 25 years ago, when we bought our first home, our interest rate was at 7%, which of course we thought was amazing. Shortly after that, they start dropping off like you know they start dropping off like flies uh but since that time 7.75 right now is the average the 30-year average for interest rates since 1971 i guess that's not 30 years that's a 50-year average since 1971. now where are they now well the good news is they're not at 7.75 percent but they have increased the average 30 year uh, mortgage rate right now is 6.5%. Year over year, meaning last year this time, the average uh, mortgage, mortgage rate was about 5%. So within the past year, we've only, we've seen about a 1.5% in, increase in the average interest rate for a 30 year fixed mortgage. Now that may seem significant, but if we consider the fact that from uh, 2021 to 2022, rates increased by like three and a half percent yeah you know one a one and a half percent increase really ain't that bad i don't know just something to think about just something to think about now the question that i find that that people are are asking about now especially since interest rates are going up uh you know they're going up so high and relatively speaking they are high but again we did some videos and we talked about that in the past as a matter of fact i'll put one in there uh i'll put one in the uh, notes about uh, about how the current interest rate situation or the most recent interest rate situation uh, being like in the low twos, high threes was ridiculous. And that has never, it was unsustainable, long and short of it, right? It has been unsustainable for a long time. So now that we're back to interest rates in the sixes, eh, that's kind of more reasonable, relatively speaking. And I put that in the uh, thing, but long and short of, I've been receiving a lot of questions as of late about whether or not uh, the Fed will actually uh, lower the short-term interest rates uh, in, a, in an attempt to stimulate the economy again and, and get borrowers lending. Well, I think we already know what the Fed is gonna do on that. And the answer to that is absolutely not. Don't expect interest rates to come down. Um, they may stabilize, but they are not coming down. And again, they're not coming down anytime soon because the Fed, again's main concern at this point is not increasing the number of homeowners. The Fed's interest right now is reducing inflation. And that's why they're making money hard, making a harder money more expensive to try to pull some money out of the market to bring consumer prices down. That's what they're really focused on right now. So don't expect to see interest rates coming down. If you're in the market to purchase a property or to refinance, um, now might be the time. Um, and if you're interested in refinancing and you purchased your property, say three or four years ago, I gotta ask the question, what the heck, heck are you thinking? You got an interest rate that is like three, 4% at the max. Why are you trying to get rid of that? Just something to think about. But then again, everybody's situation is different. But you know, like I said, you got a three or 4% interest rate, you might wanna, you know try to keep it just saying all righty so now let's get into the housing news see i got my notepad and everything so let's start with the good news good news in wayne oakland and macomb counties housing supply is up yes year over year that means that specifically uh right now we're at in terms of wayne county we're at a 2.1 month supply what does that mean that means that if no other properties were added to the market right now in terms of uh, offerings, if every buyer who wanted to buy a property bought a property right now, we'd be able to satisfy them for two months. 
anything under be around three months is considered to be stable. So a three month market supply is considered to be stable in any market, okay? So right now we're at a 2.1 month supply in Wayne County. We're at a 1.5% uh, supply in Oakland County and a 1.2% increase or supply in Macomb County. Macomb County, I don't know what you guys are doing over there, but you guys are kicking butt consistently, consistently your uh, supply and value increases have consist consistently raised over several years now. So whatever you're doing over there, keep it up. Uh, let's talk about, now we gotta get into some bad news. Don't, don't, don't. Bad news. The number of closed sales in Wayne County year over the year has decreased by 15%. Oakland County by 21%. Macomb County by 18%. So even though, even though you guys are, Macomb County is leading a lot of different ways in a lot of different areas, you know, even you are not immune to actually, uh, to some things. So there we go. Now market time. Now this is an indicator of basically how long does it take to, for a house that is currently marketed to sell. By the way, we're only talking about residential properties. So I'm not talking about any commercial things at, or industrial properties. All right. So in Wayne County, we're looking at an average marketing time of 30 days. Now that's up about 15%. In Oakland County, you're looking at a, an average marketing time of about 26 days or about 18% increase. And again, in Macomb County, you're looking at an average marketing time of about 27 days or about uh, 28%. Now, again, as you just heard all of those have increased by on average say about 20 25 percent right here's the thing though um anything uh, uh, in a st stable market in a stable market we're we consider anything around 90 days to be average i just told you that every there we're right at about 30 days for all three of our major counties here in the tri-county area so we're still significantly below in terms of marketing time from what we would consider average, all right? Now, let's talk about pending sales. Again, not such good news. Pending sales are basically those properties that, are, have, that were on the market and they've, the owners have accepted offers and they'll be closing sometime in the near future. Um, in Wayne County, we're down 12.6%. We're down to 12.6, yeah, we're down 12.6%. Um, and in Oakland, we're down 21 and a half percent. And in Macomb, we're down 18.7%. So again, the number of, while there are buyers out there and there is an increased supply, the actual coming to the minds of the buyers and the sellers is down. That is probably due towards a lot of the turmoil that's going on in the economy, but let's be real. You know, it's been going on for about a year now, so it's starting to settle down. Maybe this is more normal. I don't know. We'll have to look at it going forward. And with that, I'm going to end this with some good news. Now, even with all that kind of negative news about uh, supply going up, and which actually was a good thing because we had uh, significantly less supply, and we've been down in supply for dang near a decade now, um, the number of closed sales actually decreasing, market time going up, and pending sales decreasing. With all of that said, guess what? Home values have still increased. In Wayne County, they've increased about 1.6% year over year. Oakland, 4.5%, and Macomb at 5.4%. So even though we've had some changes in some market conditions, our, from a pricing standpoint, our market is still relatively stable which is a wonderful thing, right? We'd rather see stable than the other way. We don't wanna see things going down, right? So um, given all of the uh, turmoil we've seen over the last, say, three years, I think stable's pretty good. So there you have it, your market update for the great state of Michigan in the Tri-County area, Wayne, Oakland, and Macomb counties. And this is Jimmy Roberts, your local real estate professional. If you have any questions or if I can help you with anything, specifically in the arena of appraising, a brokerage or whatever, give us a call and I will talk to you later. See you.